I'm Paul and welcome to Zilla Cabs. Here at Zilla we believe the quest to find your perfect tone doesn't just lie in your guitar, amp and pedals, but in your speaker and cab choice too. In this video we're going to look at Celestian's most iconic range, the Greenbacks. We're going to look at their main differences, what they're best suited to and how they contrast through various different amp and gain settings. Before we kick things off with some classic rock, can I ask a favour? Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help us make more and better content for you. I'm sure when most of us started looking into speakers, we were quickly introduced to the Greenbacks. But it's important to remember, starting life in the mid 60s, they have almost 60 years of history. So there's been plenty of different models and technical spec changes over the years. Now, I don't wanna to get too bogged down with the technical specs and the history of the speakers. We're gonna leave that for another video. In this video, I wanna look at the five most recent models, the M Greenback, the EVH Signature model, and now sadly defunct H55, H75, and M67 that make up the Heritage series. The M Green is straight from Celestia's classic series and what most people refer to just as the Greenback. The EVH is Eddie Van Halen's signature model and based on a vintage Greenback. The H55 and H75 are effectively the same speaker but with a different cone. And the M67 is a reproduction of the 20 watt Greenback from 1967. It's also supposedly the same as the EVH, but as you probably heard earlier and definitely about to hear, there are differences between the two. In the next section, we're gonna look at the main tonal differences between the speakers, but for now, let's hear them in a slightly heavier, more modern rock setting. <laughs> So far we've heard all five speakers in a medium and slightly higher gain setting. The reason we do this are the subtle tonal characteristics become a little bit more noticeable with a little bit more gain. Now you may be wondering what's the deal with the H's. Well back in the day a lot of guitar and bass speakers were effectively the same just with the bass speakers having a slightly bass heavy coat. Now, these bass speakers were often favoured by some guitarists, one of whom is Jimi Hendrix. So that's what we have here. 
two speakers that are the same in a lot of respects, but one having a slightly lower bass resonance. In these videos, I don't like going too heavily into technical specs, but it is important in this case to point out the power ratings are relatively low and so are the sensitivity ratings too. So there may be some cases in which these speakers may not be the best choice. Now the greenbacks are key to early guitar tones, but you can use them for almost anything. The H's may be a little bit more favored for lead work and the M's a bit more for rhythm. But as we will discuss later, the cabin choice will make a big difference. Now let's hear all five in a clean setting followed by a much heavier track. <coughs> As always, we can't just look at the speaker without considering the cab it's in. And in this case, for the clean and lower gain tracks, we've used our mini modern 1x12. That is our standard kind of mid-sized 1x12. And although it can come in open, closed, three-piece and oval backs, we've opted for the open back in this case. Earlier, we talked about the M magnets being a little darker sounding. Using a slightly darker sounding speaker is often not a bad place to start. It can help smooth over a slightly reduced low end, which you can often find in 1x12 cabs. From this, it follows that the slightly brighter H's can come to life in larger cabs, where low end response can come with a different set of problems but it's important to remember the H can also sound great in smaller open back cabs too. There are no rights or wrongs in music. For the heavier tracks, we've used our Super Fatboy 2x12 with a closed back. We've done this to help keep the low end nice and tight sounding. And for the final track, we've used our oversized 4x12. Now, at Zilla, you probably guessed that we love mixing speakers and with there being five great speakers here, we've made a dedicated video on the different greenback mixers, as well as a bunch of shorter videos on the individual pairings. But to end this video, we've decided to go with my personal favorite mix. That's the H55 with the classic series M greenback. But before then, I wanna say a massive thanks to the guys that provided us with the DI tracks and to you for watching. 
For the technical specs, check the description below or my blog on the website. And until next time, stay cool, hang tough and riff hard. Thank you.